Good morning to lecturer and fellow friends. Today we want to discuss about how Malaysian hospitals can be improved. So, one of the ways to improve Malaysian hospital is to have a well-trained and well-qualified staff. Staff training takes a lot of time, effort and patience, but it's well worth it, especially in the healthcare industry. With effective and established training programs, a company can improve retention and increase staff morale, thereby creating a positive, motivated and competent workforce. This, in turn, improve patient satisfaction and profitability of the practice. Sorry for interrupting, but do you have other supporting points? Yes, Ashley, staff training in the health industry makes it easier for employers to integrate their staff into the working process of their organizations, creating a form of synchrony between the individual and the team they will be working with even before they begin working together. Okay, Angeline, before you move on, I would like to give my opinion. I think the most important for Malaysian hospital is have better equipment and latest technology because the technology is important for now. Today, we can see our medical sector was faces various problems such as heavy workload for the medical staff. They have no time to rest because they must always keep in give the medicine to so many patients at hospital. So, we have new technology, it can be easy for medical staff to rest for a while. Did being new technology just easy for medical staff? Anyway, with new technology also can help patients to not waste time for the collection of medicine. Which new technology can help to provide data analysis for the wasting time and sickness for the collection of medicine in order to reduce operation costs and enhance accuracy. It's only about technology. How about improve better equipment? Thank you, Ashley, for your question. Better equipment at hospital can improve productivity and boot grounds using medical equipment tracking software. When medical equipment is clean, accessible and in good working order, the hospital staff not only becomes more productive. I totally agree with your opinion, Shafiza. From my view, Malaysian hospitals can be improved by clean and maintained facilities. My first point is hygienic care is important for everyone and it is must for patients in hospital under treatment. So keeping hospital with a clean environment is a must to ensure patients' health. For my second point, maintained facilities are one of most important aspects that every hospital should care of because facilities will not get to repair frequently if it has been maintained very well. Uh, what are the causes if facilities not managed well anymore? Good question. Just think that because of facilities of hospitals should not take care of well and there is a fire in children's ward how the nurses can extinguish fire without a fire extinguisher first it may lead to death can cause us trouble too for my third point clean and maintain facilities is much helpful for patients who regularly or non-regular to hospital for treatment purposes hospital management should take actions by adding up facilities and hiring workers for this kind of specific cleaning job. That sounds like a good idea. But for me, I think administration and medical services in Malaysia's hospital is also important to be improved. First and foremost, a hospital needs both good standing and good reputation. There are various ways to achieve this, including word of mouth, Obtaining accreditations and achieving awards, such a hospital is able to demonstrate with, with proof that it is able to meet its patients' medical needs in the best way possible. Angeline, my next supporting point is measure the staff, staff members understand their roles. One of the biggest threats 
to achieving patient-centered care in the workplace is each employee believes in the, is up to someone else. The front desk staff thinks is the responsibility of the floor nurses. The floor nurses thinks is the responsibility of the physicians. It's an age-old game of past the bus. However, for patient central care to be successful, everyone must take full responsibility for treating patients with courtesy and respect to making sure all needs are made prior to discharge. Everyone plays a clear part, and the primary primary role is to make sure they understand theirs. Do you think that is the most important point in improving administration and medical service? Thank you for asking questions, Shafija. The point that I think is the most important is service attitude of the staff in Malaysian hospital. For example, check-in and check-out procedures should be patient-friendly. For example, and for inpatients, we have instituted a system of discharging patients in their rooms, eliminating the needs of for the patient or the family to go to another office or come in the hospital and waiting there for a long time. This has been favorable received by patients. Okay, so do you all agree of the points that we discussed today? Yes, Angeline. Yes, Angeline. Yes. In a nutshell, we are able to come to an agreement on how Malaysian hospital can be improved based on more qualified and well-trained staff, better equipment and latest technology, clean and well-maintained facilities, and improved administration and medical services. Thank you for your contribution to the discussion.